Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So this is a 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road. These are Billy Bars. So what are Billy Bars? Well, they're not a chain of Midwest bars owned by a guy named Billy. However, what they are are actually heavy duty American made crossbars that go on the back of your truck bed like this Toyota Tacoma. Very similar to the picture here on the Billy Bars box that it comes with. It just comes in one box like this. This has the actual crossbars and the brackets. The brackets are the big deal here because unlike a lot of other options in the market for mounting rooftop tents, this system allows you to mount the tent or whatever you want on top of the truck bed while still having this cover in place. Now this is a rough country trifold, low profile aluminum cover. These brackets don't work well with all systems, judging by where the brackets have to go and if they align well with the mounting system that actually runs the trifold. So we're gonna talk about that. Might have to do some cutting, might have to do some drilling. I don't really know yet. We're gonna find out. Let's see what's in the box. Nice heavy duty packaging. Plenty of tape. Here are those heavy duty brackets I was mentioning earlier. Check this out. That is nice and thick, powder coated. You can see how these are gonna go inside the actual bed here, bolted onto your actual contacts that are usually designed for a rail system. And this sits on top like so of the actual bed there. And then the bars kind of pop right in here. Now what's also cool about this is you can take the bars off with just a couple of bolts here. And I believe this is a security bolt in here, which makes it a little bit easier to actually keep this a little more secure. But you can take this out whenever you need it relatively quickly and use the truck as a truck bed again. So really neat system. Billy Bar hat, that's kind of cool. Another bracket here. Crossbars themselves are definitely the heaviest part about this. Very nice packaging. They even added a bunch of kind of crunchy material on the ends to make sure these don't slide back and forth or slide up and down. Very well thought out. QR code for instructions. A little more modern spin rather than having to look at terribly drawn images on how to build these. So these are all sealed up real tight in multiple layers of cardboard. And then you literally just take the back end, hold it down and pull it out. And you got your heavy duty bars right here. Solid, look at that. Really beautifully cut too. And number two, a little bit of rubbing there. But this is going on the back of a truck. <laughs> we'll be adding to that collection of marks very shortly. On the back here, hardware. They point down here. Oh yeah, there's all your hardware right in there. So the bolts are actually security bolts. You can see there's a hole there. Comes with the wrench for this. So that way you have a little bit of added security for these bars. There's another bracket. We need one more. Number three. And number four. Quick look at what you get. Instructions, two crossbars, four brackets, bag of hardware, which we'll be using throughout this video. Billy Bar's hat. May or may not wear that, we'll see. And of course, the super fun part coming up, removing this tunnel cover, I already folded it up, but we're gonna go in and remove the brackets that are on the channel that comes on your Tacoma, this rail right here. There's one on both sides. I did a full install of this Rough Country Trifold. So now we're going to remove that and then see how we can carefully put these on, install them while still being able to put the tonneau cover back on. So let's get after it. Open up your camera app, hover over. You don't need a special QR reader anymore. Open that up. First thing, bracket installation. So first things first, lay your bracket down, front and back. Grab yourself four of these bad boys right here. T-nuts, push this in, pull out, clip comes off. And then you have your three, well, I have my three <laughs> T-bolts here. Gonna grab them. I am glad that I put tape where I want them because again, I'm gonna try to make this work for me. There you go. All right, so there's three there. Now what I do actually is I can keep, if I want to keep this on, actually I should have kept this on because this is going to go on the outside of one bracket. And I want one, two, I want another one of the tonneau covers. I want one, two, another tonneau cover. 
cover back on. There you have it. All right, so passenger bracket closest to the cab. You can see I did throw a tape measure up here. What I did was I picked a point on each side of the bed cover and lined it up to make sure that I'm an exact measurement away from that point for each bracket on the driver and passenger side. And I'll do the same for the other two towards the back. And that allows it to look nice and clean and it should be perfectly straight. Now take these T-bolts right here and you're going to kick one that way then bring one right here and then bring this one back to where it needs to go. And then you wanna take your bolt here in this configuration. So bolt head, crush washer, flat washer. Now these T-nuts are not exactly a perfect nut to go into. So they might be a little crooked depending on how the rail is shaped and how they glide in there. So just do your best. And as you're installing these, try to keep from moving the mount bracket itself. Now, once these are nice and snug, you're gonna to wanna to take a 9 16 push the bracket down, make sure it is flush, and tighten them down. So do the same thing measuring, double checking measurements, make sure you have the T-slots where you want them for anything else like the tonneau cover. Do that the same way for the other three and you're good to go. Moment of truth here. We'll slide in perfectly, let's see. Oh man, a little bit of pressure on the mounts there, but look to slide in very nice. Do the front here. Watch your fingers. All right, that actually fits much better. Next to no wiggle at all on these. So all these holes line up perfectly. Clean threads. So take your security bolts here. Set right there. Crush washer, regular washer. See if they line up nice. Oh yeah. Everything's been real clean. No one right here. I do wish it came with a bit maybe. Because this is fine and you can just leave it in your vehicle or carry it on you for extra security. Crank it down. But it'd be good to have a bit instead of just a hand key. But this works. That's a good quality tool here. Doesn't feel very cheap. It's actually pretty heavy. I'm sure you could probably get more of these if you lose it but it's not something the average person would have, so it's a good security measure for sure. Six more of these and you're done. So fast forward a little bit and we have a new trifold tonneau cover. This is a DNA motoring hardtop tonneau cover. It's a trifold just like the Rough Country low profile. I tried to make the Rough Country work. It just was not in the cards. There's too much material you had to modify or remove to make these bars fit. So I ended up switching it out for this DNA motoring and I've had no issues with either one of these tonneau covers in the past. I've had the Rough Country for quite a long time now for testing. DNA I've had for a few months now. Hold it up great. Uh, there's a couple of things I'd like to do to seal it up, but I was waiting to kind of see where I want to put these bars uh, now that they're on there. Looks great. Billy bars, super easy solution to kind of install. And now you can run rooftop tents, bikes, kayaks, cargo carriers, Pelican cases, you name it. But to get this installed, as you saw early, it's very simple. So this one with the DNA motoring, you have to put it in a certain order to get these to work. I put these front bars up here, just behind the furthest front locking point on the tunnel cover. And I put this back one here, just in front of the furthest locking point on the back of the tunnel cover there. Now, depending on what you wanna do with these, you can slide these around depending on which kind of location or what kind of things you want to use. I put these where they are right now. They might need to be spread out a little bit more and you could flip the locking point here on the furthest point of close to the cab of the tunnel cover, flip it with this billy bar bracket here and you can move this up a little bit, giving you a little bit more space, but it's really up to you on how you want to move these around. And of course there are tabs on either side of the rail for the Tacoma, so you don't have to like slide everything out. You can pick a side and accessorize that way as well to kind of modify as you need and customize the setup. 
After of course putting everything back in order, cranking these down as we did before, put the bars back on. I do recommend putting some Loctite on everything just to kind of help these bolts stay put because just the rattle of the road tends to loosen things up. I noticed that a lot with the rough country as well. The bolts just don't have anything on them. So all these bolts that you put on, including the bars here, just go and put a little bit of Loctite on there, help kind of seal this up nice. Speaking of seals, well, you do need to obviously slide this back on. This tunnel cover goes from the back and you kind of just float on top. So you slide it back towards the cab, try to get it as symmetrical as you can. I kind of measured kind of eyeball measurements really on where everything was, depending on some of the lines, on top of the bed cap here, and that kind of helped quite a bit. And you go underneath the tonneau cover, clamp everything down nice and tight, and then you should be good to go. Now, if you ever need to remove the billy bars, the best part is you have these eight special key lock bolts right here. So keep that key on you, just loosen them all up, and go pop these off, fold the tonneau cover back up, and you now have a working truck bed again if you do truck stuff. So very cool system. I'm gonna get a rooftop tent, but if you wanna do anything else, you can kind of move this where you want. I don't know which kind of rooftop tent I'm getting yet, but I'm gonna find something almost big enough to fit the whole family, hopefully. I'll uh, be good to kind of get some uh, outings here this spring and summer, so stay tuned for that. Probably do a full review on that as well. Go camping, of course. And then I also went and moved this up just far enough where you can actually open the back uh, the first piece of the trifold, which helps us so you can get in there a little bit easier because otherwise you are crawling inside there, of course. Once you get this dialed in, I would check, uh, go outside in nice bright daylight and check the seals around the whole thing, see what needs to be sealed up, get some weather stripping, and just put it on the tonneau cover most likely, just to kind of seal it up. And you can even put some on some of this hard foam here because the hard foam is not as good as this weather stripping here. So it'll be good if you really want to kind of get this nice watertight fit, you'll be good to go with some extra weather stripping. I also gave myself a little bit of extra room up here for where these clips are, so if I do fold this tunnel cover again, I actually give myself a little bit more room to get my fingers in there, because that is something that was kind of annoying about this system right here, is when you do fold up the tunnel cover, you can't really reach the clips very easily. You kind of have to go with two hands and pop the tabs to pop it out. So it's kind of annoying there. I might do some modifications to this clip system anyways at some point, uh, but overall I'm very happy with this DNA motoring and it seems to be working very well for its purpose. Did a bunch of road trips with it already. No issues, no leaks or anything like that or nothing really major, uh, anything different from like what we saw with the, the rough country low profile. So I'll clean it up a little bit, should be good to go. Billybars.com, they do actually have a bunch of accessories as well. I did buy these off their website. so. Good rates, good shipping, all that good stuff. They have a couple of other accessories I might pick up. Things for bikes you can put on top, and there's also some things for the, the tailgate they had. That's like a tailgate cover to kind of get rid of all those slots on the tailgate and make it more of a table. Kind of great for camping, especially with this setup here. Have something flat to work on. Well, that about wraps this up. If you have any questions at all, hit them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. As always, subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up, really helps me out. Head over to Instagram, follow me there. Like us on Facebook for all the latest and greatest deals on the internet. And I'll see you guys in the next review.